Welcome to 26 Black Knight Film Festival and you are with the POF TV with the segment of Meet the Filmmakers. Uh, we are discussing a very interesting uh, film uh, which is going to do an uh, international premiere at the POF this year. The title of the film is uh, Your Lovely Smile and we have the director with us, uh, Lim Kawai. Uh, yeah. Welcome uh, to POF TV. Yeah, nice to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is not uh, your first time in Puff as is, as a filmmaker. Uh, your your film has been here in twenty twenty. Uh, come and go. Yes. Uh, so like, what is your uh, uh, journey in Puff uh, so far? Yeah, in fact, uh, I make a come and go uh, before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. It's on uh, two thousand nineteen. Okay. And then I finish it uh, in two thousand twenty. Okay. And it's also international premiere in uh, Black Knight. Right. And at that time, I try to go, okay. come here, but things is still uh, in the pandemics. Yeah. So it's difficult for me to travel overseas. So uh, after in tw 2021, I make uh, this film, uh, Your yes. Lovely Smile. Because uh, the reason why I make this film is also because I cannot go outside. Yes, yeah, yes because I, it reflects in your film yeah, yeah. and the, the concept. So let's yeah. let's get into that. Like, I mean, you have made like you know many films, and your films have been traveling around the world. You've done like a lot of European co-productions also. So, like, what is your journey to make this film? Like, you know, if we can elaborate on that. Yeah, uh, because uh, because uh, as you see, the film you was yeah. uh know the situation of the independent filmmaker mm -hmm. in Japan yeah. and in fact I also one of them mm -hmm. uh, since the pandemic uh, it's difficult for us to uh, get funding or sponsor to make our new project mm -hmm. and at the same time uh, it's also difficult for us to uh, show our film in the theater yeah. Yeah, uh, because a lot of uh, theater has been influenced by the pandemic yeah. and also they have to shut down or they have to close down mm -hmm. And so, uh, I would like to, uh, as I how to say, I, I reflect what happened on us. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is the main reason I want to make this film. Yeah, I think yeah. I think like you know, many filmmakers, independent filmmakers, would really relate to uh, your film. Like you know, and they're watching the film, and uh, like let's talk about the structure of the film. Yes. It's very interestingly like you know you. You bring a certain like you know a documentary style and like you know you go through a journey in the film, and then you work with certain like real real life characters like you know the artistic director of the Tokyo Film Festival Yoshi, yeah, and yeah. and like you know how did you structure this like you know what was the process of like structuring this film? Yes, uh, because I think uh, if I, uh, the main reason uh, why I put a lot of uh, documentary factor in the film is because uh. If I find an actor or some people who is not in the industry or in this uh, field, maybe it's a little bit fake. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I would like to ask the real people, for example, the real filmmaker, mm -hmm. the uh, real film programmer, uh, even though the owner of the theater, we, where the, the character visit is all real. Mm -hmm. Then, then it could it's make it... Uh, the film could be more how to say a convincing. Right. Yeah. At the same time, uh, I also want to uh, reflect uh, the fact what they are facing now, the yeah. difficulty what they are facing now, because only they know their difficulty mm -hmm. themselves more than the other people. Right. And, and at the same time, uh, I make this film without script. Right. Or it's in improvising. Right. And also uh, based on the situation uh, we have and mm -hmm. based on the character we met on the journey. Mm -hmm. And I try to put them into the films. Okay. So uh, it's make the film more have the reality at the same time. And also because I think uh, it's the best way to uh, tell the story the fact yeah. uh, what happened in Japan or even though in the world now. Yeah. But at the same time, it's a fiction. Yes. It's, not a, it's, it's not real. Yeah. Maybe uh, half, because maybe their background mm -hmm. and for example, the uh, as programming director of right. Tokyo Film Festival, yeah. Yeah. the owner is, is real. Right. Even though the, yeah. the main character, Watanabe Hirobumi, yes. he's also a real filmmaker. filmmaker. Yeah. But at the uh, real time, he's not like this. Yeah. The, especially his character. Yeah. Yeah. In normal life, he's very humble. Yeah. 
yeah. and a really shy guys. Yes. But in the film, he's very pushy. Yeah, yeah, yeah because, because yeah. It, it reflects because like you know, like Watanabe was like you know invented by Yoshi, like you know introduced to the film world, like you know through the Tokyo yeah, yeah. Film Festival, and then like uh, you juxtapose it, like they are having that discussion, like you say, like you know you can introduce me and like yeah, you know, yeah, new yeah. filmmakers. So it 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 it's taking uh, the the viewer also like you know back in the journey, especially like you know filmmakers and people who are with the festivals. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting, like you know structure. Like that, and also like you know, working like you know, it's like you're working with some actors and also like non-actors. Yes. So h- how was that process like? You know, especially like you know, I want to know, like you work with these actors like when when he meets this like underworld don like you know the businessman who wants to like you know put money, but then like you know you meet these theater owners. So like uh, how how did you like you know work with them? One way like we see like you know you have had lot of footages of shooting. And like how how you work with the actors basically. Yeah, like uh, in, uh, for the professional actor, for example, Shou Gan who act yep. as the uh, boss who hire yeah. the director yeah. to make a film about yeah. him. Uh, he's he's a very professional uh, mm-hmm. actor, so uh, it's uh, easy for me to uh, film him with different angle, mm-hmm. because uh, every time he can do the same things. Yeah. But uh, for the lamp professional actor like Yoshi, like uh, the owner of the theater, because they are not get used with the camera, right. and if you want them to repeat the same dialogue or same lines, I think it's quite difficult. Even though they yeah. they want they don't want to they 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 don't want me to film them once again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they are not patient at it. Right. So uh, you can see uh the editing uh even though the cut on the professional actor has many more angles. And but uh to the real people, I mean the lamp professional. I I always use only one angle, right. a fixed camera, yeah. and also uh during the process of the filming, I, I try my I try myself to uh take two two right. takes yeah right. because to the lamp professional actor I think it's very, uh it's like a, how to say. Uh, very diffi- yeah, difficult. Difficult to like you know yeah, yeah, yeah. get it like repeated and yeah, like repeated the way again, that you yeah, want yeah. And they they also get bored with it. Yeah. yeah. So uh before f- filming I have to dis- discuss a lot with them. I mm-hmm. tell them what to do, what to do, and also do some rehearsal. Right. Before the right. filming. Yeah. And and also like uh, when like you know since like you know you have not like you know scripted it like 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 a normal production, like when did you decide to bring this. Uh, uh, the surrealistic part in the film, like you know, there there is this one actress, and then like the director uh, dreams, and like you know, it goes into like different layers. Yeah, yeah. So when did that come, like? Yeah. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, the character of the muse, I uh, mm-hmm. means the girl, the mysterious girl who inspire Watanabe Hirobumi in the film, or yeah. maybe a uh, illusion. Yeah. Or maybe, uh, what all about the girl is. His imagination. Mm-hmm. This I st- this this idea, in fact, uh, not from the beginning. Okay. From the be- from the beginning, I just want to uh, make a film about the film, the independent filmmaker okay. try to sell his film to mm-hmm. the uh, theater. Right. But this like uh, quite how to say it? Yeah, as what you say, it's very documentary. Yeah. yeah maybe it's less interesting or less drama. Mm-hmm. So I I try to figure out how to uh, make the story more uh, dramatic. Then I need a uh, how to say a fam a fam father or right. maybe a, a female actress yeah. a- character uh, inside the film. Right. So uh, I try to create uh, this uh, image mm-hmm. or this character uh, when I finish the first when I finish maybe after one one mix after the shooting. Mm-hmm. I think I need some kind of this uh, fantastic or right. some yeah you know, some part. Right. So uh, finally, as you see, is a film combined. F- Fiction and also yeah. documentary at the same time is a bit like a horror film yeah. or maybe like yeah. a fantasy film. Yeah, yeah, it, it has all the flavors that you know, there's kind of humor and then like yeah. it goes into very emotional, uh, touching part also. So, uh, the the my, my last question would be like you know what what is the plight of the independent filmmakers at the moment uh, in Japan and also in the Asia, uh, like post COVID, uh, what's what's the situation now? Yeah. I think uh in Asia or in Japan the independent filmmaking is quite different from Europe or yes. American, because uh we uh we we face the uh, problem of the budget mm-hmm. and also the funding, yeah. uh especially in Japan it's so difficult to get funding or uh higher budget to make yeah. a film in 
as an independent film. But uh, there are a lot of independent filmmaker in Japan. I think maybe more than the other countries. Right. And also, there are a lot of uh, uh, art house uh, theater yeah. uh, in Japan to support the independent filmmaker. Right. Right. So maybe it's a kind of the history of the mm-hmm. cinema. Mm-hmm. And it's quite different from... Uh, even though it's different from Asia to Japan, right. Japan has the 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 history of oh. the art house film yeah. and also the independent film. Yeah. But in the other countries, because I come from Malaysia, yeah. uh, to Malaysia, I think Malaysia don't have this kind of the history. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we only has the commercial films. Commercial films. Yeah. And uh, during uh two thousands uh things uh it's easier to make film with the digital camera and yeah. editing with digital. Yeah. So a lot of independent filmmaker comes. Up, right, but right. just for few years. Yeah. Uh, uh, then it's all, all, all almost disappear mm-hmm. because it's difficult to, uh, screen their film, mm-hmm. and because you no know, the art house uh, theater. Mm-hmm. At the same time, also uh, it's difficult for them to find the audience. Yeah. But in Japan, uh, we still has, not not so a lot, but still has, the independent has the audience who loves to support and see the independent film. So this may be the reason uh, why uh, Japanese has more independent filmmaker yes. and ma- independent film. Yeah. But during the pandemics, yeah, all, all face a lot of problems and difficulty. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we basically hope things will be good for the independent filmmakers in the coming years. And thank you very much, uh, Lim, coming here and like bringing your film uh, to the festival. And the film is also in the competition. And we wish you all the best and a great uh, festival journey for your film. And also you will find a good uh, international release uh, yeah, for your I film. Yeah, I hope so, yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. And thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And that's a wrap from Puff TV. I'm Danushka. Bye-bye.